Hello, KW Upstate New York Properties. I am so excited to introduce Jessica Mileto to you today. Jessica is our new incoming team leader, and I know you're all very excited about this. And Jessica and I thought it would be a great idea to come on and just you know talk a little bit and share some things about her and her background. So hi, Jess, how are you? Hey, hi, Anna. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah, we're so excited. You're going to be starting on August 1st. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we shared a little bit about your background in our um, introductory email. I know that you've been in the business for a long time and you're coming from the team leader role. So do you want to just, you know, in your own words, tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I think uh, real estate is an interesting, I'll start with that. Real estate is an interesting career because I think it attracts so many different people from so many different backgrounds. Um, so I was lucky enough to stumble across it. Uh, June 2011 was when I actually got uh, licensed and picked up. I was with uh, Coldwell Banker first, um, then ended up with Corcoran, which is a big Manhattan and Brooklyn firm, um, and then ended up at Douglas Elliman, top agent there, where Kelly Williams found me. <laughs> yeah. And you've been a team leader now in Queens for almost three years, right? Uh, two and a half, exactly two and a half years. What do you love most about being a team leader? The agents, um, yeah. really, really the relationships, the people I met. I mean, down here, everybody's nuts. Um, I fit right <laughs> in. So you're going to get a, a nut, but uh, no, there's a so good many. nut. I think, I think uh, the en your energy is what I, I love most about you, among other things. Well, that's what I mean about real estate, attracting so many different kinds of people. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the, the Queens Market Center, there's people from all, you name a country, I had somebody from that country, from that culture that spoke that language. It was just incredible. Uh, they say New York is the melting pot anyway, but just the op endless opportunities, uh, endless personalities, uh, endless yeah. Um, just really positive relationships. Um, I got to learn a lot about people and that's seems to be my superpower. <laughs> yeah, well, I and that came through a lot. You know, we spent a lot of time talking and um, some people might even be surprised to know how much time we spent on this. And, and you were very, you know, mindful about this. I was, Rosemary was, you know, you got to meet Joan and talk to her. Um, and, you know, it wasn't something that we all jumped into just because you've been a team leader. It was really about making sure that it was, was a good fit all the way around. And I think one of the things that, a couple of things that really came through in our conversations is that you do love working with the agents and that you want to see agents succeed. And I, and I think that's so important for a team leader to have those qualities. And then you're pretty adaptable, you know, like I think a lot of the things that you've done personally and professionally has you know, made you very adaptable and you connect well with people. Would you agree with all that? Oh, absolutely. And I think, um, you know, as a new team leader, um, you know, they tell you what the job is uh, and, you know, you have team leader experience uh, and then you figure out what the job actually is. Yeah. Um, what would you say the job yeah. actually is? Um, well, I think it really depends on your strengths too and your, your leadership style. Um, my leadership style was again, like, I'm not in charge. I'm not going to tell them anything. I'm here to listen, observe, um, really kind of learn about the agent. So I think it really is about, um, finding out what really makes people tick, empowering them, um, figuring out, yes, their big why, you know, it's mm -hmm. a buzzword Keller Williams always has, but all that, all that stuff aside, it's really just caring about people and wanting to see them succeed. Um, so I think that really became my focus was really inward because they want us to recruit, obviously growing the office is hugely important for a team leader to do. Right. But I made sure that I had as much, if not more emphasis on the, the people that already bought the dream. There's people in Keller Williams right now that are like, yeah, I signed up. I mean, I thought you were going to change my life and then nothing happens. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest, um, that's the biggest disappointment ever. Um, you join a new company, you're excited. You know, I did the same thing. Um, and, and I was very lucky to then also get on ALC. Um, and from ALC is usually where we, we look for the next leaders. And right. I was, you know, then asked about, you know, the team leader role. So yeah, really, I think that's super, mm -hmm. yeah, sorry. I think that's super important too, that you know what the ALC looks like from the inside as well. And, 
I know you shared with with uh, Rosemary and I that you know one of the things you were going to do right away in your first thirty days was get to know the agents in the market center and and help yeah. them see you as you know not just the team leader but as an advocate for them and a coach and a consultant and get to know you know who the agents are and what their goals are and uh, I'm sure anyone watching this could be excited to hear that. Yeah, I think uh, again, it's not about me or what I'm coming to do. I'm just gonna come in and listen. Um, you know, my coaching style, my training style, it's gonna be different for the agent. So if you come in and, and you, you kind of tell me what you think I wanna hear, it's not gonna work. You come in and you're honest with me and you tell me what's really going on with you, that's when I can apply my knowledge. I'm not gonna come in with a blanket answer for everybody. Oh, you need to do more lead gen. You know, not, <laughs> it's not that it's not about that right it's really not so I think um as much as I'm coming in obviously with an open mind you know new position new people new whole new life whole new house uh whole new place whole new way to buy groceries I mean everything is so yes right well so I, let's okay let's just talk about that the elephant in the room right I know some people yeah. are probably wondering I've gotten asked a couple of times uh you're making a, a major change yeah you and your husband been bought a property in or right outside of Oneonta um, back in the fall, right? So you want to talk a little bit about that and and your home move from you know the the, the Queens to <laughs> upstate and what you're looking forward to about that and how this will be your new roots. Yeah, I think um, I think you know during the pandemic, um, I'm a I'm a pandemic team leader. I'm a COVID team leader, as they've coined us. I started. Yeah, you came in at that time, right? February 2020, um, trying to get my bearings, and March 2020 came and we were shut down. Um, and I remember we actually had a Zoom with Cody Gibson, mm -hmm. um, my former OP, uh, and I sat with uh, and and, on his, and he was incredible. He's like, "Hey, we're gonna acclimate. We're gonna figure out how to." And I was thinking, "The world is ending." <laughs> Yeah, it was a scary time. It was a scary it, time. It was, yeah, but it was great. I mean, this company anyway, to have that support and to have that leadership. And I, I ate that up. I was like, all right, tell me what to do. We had nine Zoom calls a day um, with our agents that they were jumping on every day at noon. We had like 120 people on. Yeah. Um, it was incredible. They just, people just needed something. So I think going through that, um, made me realize like especially in queens we're very vulnerable i mean if you see my house right now this this orange wall is right up against the other house and this green wall is right up against the other house and i can actually right before we started i could i heard my neighbor sneeze there is no privacy there i don't even have i have a little tiny yard you know i have a fence and fully attached concrete front and back and i started to feel very closed in i think everybody did but i i got really nervous about you know mandates and you can't go out and you have to do this and I just, I was like, wow, you know, I feel like if I was in more of a rural area or some place that had a little bit more room, a little bit more options. So I think it was really that that pressed me. And I, I was saying to my husband, by the end of the year, by the end of 2021, we needed to have a house upstate for nothing else, but just to kind of go, right? I'm exposed to COVID, fine, I'll go up to the country. Whatever it was just for our, our health and our safety. Um, and that's what triggered it. But you know, also looking for that self care and that slower pace. Um, again, the pandemic taught us a lot about how to take better care of ourselves. I think we had so much time. I mean, I got fat, but <laughs> <laughs> COVID nineteen. I said, yeah, it's a COVID nineteen pounds. Yeah, um, which I'm still struggling <laughs> with my COVID nineteen. Um, so yes, yeah, sense of humor too, guys. It's gonna be little fun. Bit, little bit. Well, if you're not having fun, why are you gonna do it? <laughs> right, right. So, but then at some point, did you both, you and your husband, decide that that maybe making that a full time um, residence was really more what you were looking for, or did the team leader opportunity show was, first? Yeah, it was weird. I, I mean, Anna knows the whole story. Which I, I do. <laughs> one of our agents was actually the one. Um, Lynn, who sold me my house in Oneonta, and she was wonderful. She was instrumental in me getting that property, by the way. It was meant to be, um, and I think she knew that. And one day she just texted me, hey, our team leader is going to step down, and you would be great up here. <laughs> I went, yeah. oh, my God, because my thought was, let me reach out to Deb, because I had talked to Deb a little bit anyway. She's a lovely, lovely person. Yeah, yeah, um, she's building in her office. Her. 
Yeah. And I said, let me reach out to her and just let her know when she's ready to step out of the role a couple of years from now, I want to be on her bench. And, you know, you have plans and then the universe has their yes. plans. And it's- then I got an email from you and uh, we started having this conversation. And now we're thrilled to know that it, it's going to be uh, just a couple more weeks before you're able to start full time. You're in the process of moving right now, right? Yeah, half my house is empty. So my couch is gone. I just have two chairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very straight. There's nothing on the walls. So it's 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 odd. So yes, we're halfway up the uh the you know, the new house is is coming along very well. Um yeah. you know, so I think being organized and once I kind of that's really important for me is having like a good organized space that's kind of good for my mental health because my head is going a mile a minute. It's nice to have a nice tranquil space. So just in the process of creating that, so then I can start focusing on yeah, what's next, which is yeah. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know um you've talked a lot about the agents are the number one priority and, you know, connecting and building relationships. So, you know, I know that we have a lot of things we're going to start talking about in terms of the market center goals and all that, but you've been a team leader, so it's not foreign to you. What, what are you most looking forward to um, with this new role and a new market center, um, you know, over the next six months, you know, what, what are some things that you're hoping to accomplish? So I think first and foremost, um, I know business is done very differently. Um, when I went through the process of buying my house, I was shocked. Like I made an offer and then I was in contract. So I think I have a lot to learn. So I really look forward to those one-on-one conversations with the agents um, to really kind of learn how the market works, um, yeah. how the process works, because it is, is very different. Um, and then really being able to, uh, again, I'm going to meet so many new people and with my past experience that was so overwhelmingly positive, how many good people, how many great people that were in my life that I consider to be friends that I love dearly. I still get text messages. We miss you. Um, so these are relationships that I, I plan to have for the rest of my life. So walking into a whole new group of people what are, the, what are those relationships going to be, right? Who am I going to meet? What's interesting about this person? What's great about that team? You know, what are these people doing? What do they do in their spare time when they're not real estating? So I think just the connection to people is really important to me. Um, and so do you a- have a kind of open door policy? Like you, I know one of the things that you're also looking forward to is your commute time to the office every right. day is going to be like 10 or 12 minutes versus whatever. I don't know if it was about an hour before. Like 45 minutes. 45 to go minutes. Yeah. So you live very close to the office. Of course, you're going to be in the market center every day. Do you, I mean, what's your style? Do, do you, are you, you know, someone who welcomes the text, the call, the stop in? So yeah, I, uh, the stop in, I'm the queen of the stop in. I always had uh, agents in and out and I, it was funny, they used to call it Grand Central Station because it was there's always someone walking in, someone mid-sentence, someone else comes in. And, and it, at times it can get chaotic in my office, but everyone knew it's that- It's energy, they, right? It's the energy. Great energy. And I think the agents too, like one would step in, like, I'm sorry, I know you're talking to this one, but I have something quick. And that was okay. Um, I think there's a way to do that without being rude. There's a way to kind of, and I would like, oh, well, Steven, have you met Tom kind of thing? And like, then I could put these two guys together. Now they start talking in front of me. I could finish an email quick. (laughs) (laughs) I think I like my, I liked my room being kind of like a gathering place. And I had the couches set up, which I'd like to do in the new office. So people would come in and plop on the couch and uh, had one of my top, top teams, um, uh, the the team lead, Ron, uh, who would actually like to continue my podcast with him, bring that into our market center as well. He would come in and sit down 15 minutes a day. He's like, I just got to check on you because you're the leader. And, you know, nice. I know it's not easy what you do. And I just want to have a quick, like a mental health check. He's like, are you okay today? Do you need anything? And that was, that meant the world to me that I had the most incredible agents that were like, listen, you're running this thing. It's not easy. You, you know, we want to support you too. What do you need? I yeah, like, oh, that's great. That was, I did. And then that's not something I expected or even planned for. Um, so I just that, that real family and that real, um, you know, people that win, win, I guess that we talk about. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really invested and, you know, in one thing that's a little challenging for this market center is how spread out everyone is. Oh, As we know, we have a big are. geographic territory. Um, but I know you also said you'd be willing to go visit some of the different, you know, offices that are set up yeah. with the agents. So it's going to be great. Yeah, and, that's exciting um, that there's mega agent offices because that's yeah. something we haven't even we, we were in talks as I was leaving and opening one and, and acquiring one. Yeah. Um, so I've never even done that yet. So I'm really excited to see kind of how that operates and see their offices and, you know, and also see how I can help. Yeah. And, you know, I know we have some great growth goals. So there are some, you know, really amazing and, and solid producers and amazing people that are um, hopefully going to be working at Keller Williams in the near future as we start to reach out and, and do that. So a lot, a lot of exciting things to come. And, um, you know, something else that's really exciting is that we've planned a little uh, welcome home party for you and a little get to know you party. So we're going to do a meet and greet on Thursday, July 21st. Um, first, we talked about doing it in the office, and then we decided it would be more fun to do something in the local area. Um, so I know they're just finalizing some details, but we want to come to the blueberry farm. <laughs> but yeah, we could go to your blueberry farm, right? No, I think we're going to be going to like a local cidery or or or, yeah. or like a brewery. So that it's going to be fun. It'll be social. So we want everyone to come out and meet Jessica and get to know her on Thursday, the twenty first at five thirty. Look for more information in your in your emails. Um, so to start to wrap things up, what what do you like to do for fun? What do we what do we need to know about Jessica? Actually, um, oh wow, that's a can of worms. So I'm writing a fantasy series. Oh of, yes, yes, you're an so, author. Yes, that that's my life. I think um, big reason why I love real estate and I stuck with it was the time management. Um, I was able to finish my first book uh, in 2015. I remember we had a really bad winter that year, so I was home a lot and I was just like tucked in my room, like just typing away, like. You know, so just the time management um, was was really helpful um, to even get that done. So that's kind of my life's work. That's that's definitely besides my so near. You have a future. creative side. That's that's evident. You have a very creative. Oh side. yeah, and and I I was a musician. Uh, I'm I'm a photographer. My husband's a photographer by trade, um, and actually I got him into real estate photography. Um, so he's hoping to maybe be able to do that in Oneonta as well. Um, he shoots for all the different companies too, not just Keller Williams. So we, we definitely have creative backgrounds, but I would say besides blueberries, it would be my book. <laughs> That's great. Well, and again, that goes back to how adaptable you are. You're going to relate to a lot of people in the market center. We have people who are also creatives and artists and uh, come from a very solid business background too. And I think that's exactly your background. You, you can relate to a, a really big cross section of people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, then there are people who are native to the area and then there are people who have, you know, moved into the area like you are. And so, um, I'm just super excited about it and, and can't wait for you to start. Um, looking forward to having some fun with you on the 21st and, um, I'm really glad that you could jump on with me today and do this. Is there anything you want to say to the agents before we sign off? I do actually. Um, I think I think part of the reason why I'm excited about this, this like new opportunity, new people. Um, I think one of my my strengths with the formal market center was really kind of having people be able to tap into their potential. One of the things is. Um, is profit share is actually a big reason why I joined Keller Williams. So the commitment I made to my ALC and to my agents was, you know, I'm not going to be sitting in there on the phone building my profit share because I could do that. I could sit and recruit like a team leader. What I'd rather do is have you guys start now thinking about who have you met that's amazing. That would be great for culture. Even if they're not a great producer, hey, we'll get them there, right? We'll support yeah. them. And everyone them. has different goals too, right? Yeah, everyone has different goals, but I want you guys not to ignore that. And I want you to know my focus is going to be on you and building that passive income for you. It's not just going to be about your real estate business. I know it gets exhausting. Um, I really am looking forward to nurturing, you know, the whole person around the business as well. But I do want you to know that about me is that I joined Keller Williams specifically for profit share for that passive income. So I don't have to start at zero every day. 
Yes. Um, and that my commitment to you is that I'm going to build your downline, right? Because I'm, I'm going to get paid my salary, my bonus, whatever, you know, on growing the office. I don't need to make the profit share too. So I want this to be a huge win-win. I want the growth to be, you know, under you guys and, and part of you guys. Um, I love that. That's awesome. You know, I always, yeah. And you know, I, when I was a team leader, I said to my agents, I'm going to grow the office, right? And, and we have goals to do that. I want to do it with you. So I love that you just said that because you want to yeah, really grow yeah. it with them. The more names that you give me, the more people you guys know, the more time I can focus on you guys. If I'm sitting there searching through cold calls and searching the MLS for people to get to join, I don't want to spend my time doing that. I'd rather you bring somebody in and now we have a three-way meeting and we're sitting on the couches, we're getting to know each other and this person just loves us and can't wait to join and now you get paid every time they close something. Who said about that? <laughs> the beautiful thing. I love that. So That's listen, uh, everyone, I would even say if if you are friends with someone from another company and you think that they might be ready for a change or they just would like to come and meet Jessica, bring them over on the 21st. You oh, know, yeah. We can, you know, we can, it's going to be very social. It's not like we're going to sit them down and try to recruit them no, on the no, spot no, or anything, no. but it might be a great way for everyone to help Jessica meet some people, you know, that are in the marketplace as well. And, and if you're not going to do that, that's okay, but still come anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and also vendors, you know, if there are vendors that you do business with um, we would love for them to be there and to welcome Jessica in also it's it's a great opportunity for us to kick off uh, the beginning of a great career with us so all right Jessica thank you I know you have some things to finish up and get to so I appreciate your time we look forward to seeing you on the 21st mm -hmm. and everyone have an awesome day